Hello everyone, welcome. This is Bilal Joseph from the University of Arizona. I'm about to show a presentation on how to make a quick shot presentation for the Academic Surgical Congress 2016. Key points, you're allowed a total of seven slides. Yes, I said seven. Actually, the first two slides, the title and disclosure don't count against you. One slide for title, one slide for disclosure, one slide for your introduction, one slide for your methodology, two slides for your results, and then one slide for your conclusion. Remember, the first two don't count against you. Your title slide, again, this is easy. Title of the study, followed by your author's names, your institutional logo, and if you wish, the meeting logo also. The disclosure slide, simple, just simply your name, followed by any disclosures. Here's a sample slide from last year of just your name with whatever disclosure you have, you or any of your authors. The introduction slide is probably the slide that most people struggle with. Simple three points, reported literature, any definitions that you need to have, and I'll show you an example, and then an aim hypothesis. Don't forget to utilize some of the features within PowerPoint, such as uh, animations to help kind of lead your audience. Again, when you look at this, here's an example of this. We define failure to rescue as an indicator for quality of care. Here's some examples of reported literature and how to kind of present it, just the titles and what, what journals are from. And then we bring up AIM to talk about, and we use animation to bring this up and highlight it. Every slide, the introductory slide should have a hypothesis or a name on it as you move forward. This brings us to your methods. Methods, you have study design, location, type of study, study population, and I like to use inclusion and exclusion criteria. Again, then you can bring in your primary outcome measures and your secondary outcome measures. You do not need to state your statistical tests here. This will come out in your results, and with a quick shot, it's not needed. Again, here's just an example, retrospective study analysis, and then inclusion and exclusion criteria, followed by whatever our primary and secondary outcomes were for this study. This brings us to our results, the two most important slides. Tables or figures help simplify this. Use animations to lead your audience through the tables. Use your column heading to represent the end of each population. I'll show you what this means. And separate subgroups within your table. The second slide is the most important slide of the results. It is your money slide. This is where you present your complex stats and your primary outcomes. The first slide here, demographics, is just a comparison. You can see we put the ends up here, and then we divide the subgroups based on um, just the different titles. It's a very simple, straightforward slide to set your tone. And you can also use some of the other animations to highlight what's going on. And then your second slide of your results, again, this is the most important slide. This is their money slide. This is, and then using sometimes highlights will helps lead your audience to what you want them to see and understand. Brings us to our conclusion. This is where you have a summary statement. And then your conclusion should be in bullet points, maybe one, two, or three, whatever you want the audience to take away. Do not repeat your results in your conclusion. This is important. Remember, not everything you say needs to be on the slides. And future direction statement can be put on here if you want or it's needed. Remember, have fun, good luck, and see everyone in Jacksonville next week.